Many congratulations on completing your studies and all your hard work throughout your degree. Without doubt, this year has been a huge challenge for us all. But well done, you have made it. I welcome you, our new graduates, to the alumni community. I hope that you will stay in touch and join the Queen Mary Network. My name is Edmund M. I came to Queen Mary. It was Queen Mary College then, in 1988, to study a course called SCOM, which stood for Statistics, Computing, Operational Research, and Mathematics. I graduated with a BSc degree in Statistics in 1991, and then went to Reading University to study for an MSc degree in Biometry. I'm now a senior medical statistician working with the director of the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. I'm part of the Secretariat, which supports the Global Burden of Disease Independent Advisory Committee, funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The Global Burden of Disease is the world's most comprehensive scientific collaboration, which aims to enhance our understanding of the causes of ill health for everyone everywhere in the world. For my special memories of my time at Queen Mary, I was a member of the Drama Society in my first year, where I became a good friend uh, to an exchange student from the United States. In the summer of 1989, uh, we went interrailing for four weeks around Europe, followed by two weeks in the Soviet Union. Uh, this was before the end of the Cold War or the fall of the Berlin Wall. We visited uh, Leningrad, Kiev, Odessa and Moscow. Uh, we had a glimpse of what life was like in the former Eastern Bloc, and it was a real eye-opener uh, for the 19-year-old me. In my second year, I had the very good fortune to be taught about uh, design ex experiments by Professor Rosemary Bailey, uh, the most brilliant self-taught statistician of our time, in my opinion. Uh, it was Professor Bailey's passion for statistics that inspired me to pursue a master's degree in biometry. Uh, the word biometry is an old-fashioned word for biostatistics as we know it today. And I own my professional career to Professor Bailey. I'm not sure if I have uh, any specific uh, career advice to you, but I'll just say follow your passion because this gives you the best chance, in my opinion, of finding a fulfilling career and happiness in life. Uh, it may take some time to find your true calling, but give it time and persevere. Uh, finally, I wish you all the very best and success with whatever you choose to do in the near and distant future. In the meantime, stay safe, happy and positive.